Uh, so as you can see, I am finally getting back into my kitchen. Have not done a cooking tutorial since like January. So my leg is doing oh so much better and I'm able to stand for a little bit longer now. So that is just uh, a great and I'm so excited about that. I have missed being in here so very much and a lot of you guys have been like, uh, where's the recipe? So <laughs> anyway, today is going to be uh, quick, easy, oh so yummy recipe as normal, but this one is a little bit quicker so I don't have to stand quite as long. But it is a chocolate cherry dump cake. Oh my goodness, absolutely love this recipe. We're having company tonight and this is just going to be uh, an awesome uh, recipe. Going to dollop some vanilla ice cream right on top. So it's going to be great. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get this chocolate cherry dump cake started. Okay, y'all, so getting started on our chocolate cherry dump cake, you're just going to need a medium-sized bowl and a whisk. Now, the ingredients for this recipe you probably already have in your cupboard, so it's very, a very easy recipe. Uh, my oven is on 350 degrees, getting all nice and warm. Uh, so our first ingredient that we're gonna add is just a Devil's Food chocolate cake. It can be any brand that you like. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but the whole box is going into the bowl here. And uh, love chocolate here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm, yes, yes. Okay, and now, and to that, we're going to add one can of cherry pie filling. Again, any brand that you like will work just great. So gonna go ahead and get that in there. Oh, yummy. This is just an awesome combination, this chocolate and cherries okay also going to add to this two eggs that have been beaten and also one teaspoon of vanilla extract also one half cup of chocolate chips now the chocolate chips can be any brand that you like of course mine is hershey's here so we're just going to mix this all up really well together till everything is well incorporated. And that is the ingredients for the cake portion of this recipe. Oh my goodness. It smells awesome already. Okay, so this cake batter and cherries all mixed up well together. We're ready to go ahead and put it in our pan. Now you're going to need a nine by 13 uh, pan. I have sprayed it lightly with a cooking spray already. We're just gonna go ahead and put that right into the pan. Okay, so we get that spread around evenly. Oh my goodness, already looks and smells fabulous. Now if you like chocolate, oh my goodness, you're gonna love this. Okay, y'all, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this into a 350 degree oven, 35 to 40 minutes, and then we'll be making a chocolate topping to go on the top. Okay, so our cake is now coming out of the oven. It's all nice and done and smelling. Oh, so wonderful in here. Uh, but we're gonna put that aside and let it cool down. Uh, before you put your topping on, uh, that does not have to be cooled completely, but we do want it cooled down just a little bit. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our topping. Uh, you're gonna need one third cup of milk. And we're just gonna put this in a saucepan because we are going to um, get it boiling on the stove top. Uh, this five tablespoons of butter. And that does not have to be melted because you're fixing to melt it on the stove. Um, one cup of sugar. Also one cup of uh, Hershey's chocolate chips or whatever kind of chocolate chip that you like. And we're just going to get this on the stove top and we're gonna get it to boil. And I'm gonna boil it for one minute and then it's gonna be ready to put on top of our cake. So our top in here is getting all nice and melted. Now we're gonna let this start to boil and then we're going to boil it for one minute and then it'll be ready to go on top of our cake. Okay, so this is starting to boil, and oh my goodness, I wish you guys could smell this. It's so good. But while this uh, boils for one minute, you want to stir it the whole time that it is uh, boiling so it does not stick to the bottom. Oh, this smells so 
So yummy. Okay, so our chocolate topping is now ready to pour right on top of our cake here. Oh my goodness, this looks fabulous. But you're just going to pour it right on top of your cake. And like I say, if your cake is a little warm, that's okay. It's gonna be just fine. And you can uh, go ahead and serve it when it's nice and warm like this, or you can let it cool down. Um, either way, it's gonna be really, really good. But just dollop this with some vanilla ice cream or some Cool Whip or any kind of topping that you like. Oh my goodness. Wow, that looks so good. I wish that you could smell my kitchen right now because yeah, it smells fabulous. So there we go. Awesome, awesome dessert. You're really just gonna love this. Okay y'all, so my chocolate cherry dump cake is all done. It smells like chocolate heaven in my kitchen. Okay, and this turned out so fabulous. Uh, I think you guys are really, really enjoyed of this cake, but I'm gonna have a little taste, see what it tastes like, because I already know. Let's just hope this one turned out really good. Love that you can see the cherries in there. That is just oh so fabulous. So here goes. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm -mm. That is so, so, so good. Yummy, that topping, that chocolate topping, you're gonna love this. Um, it kind of runs to start with, but it hardens up, but yet it still stays soft. That You know, the top part kind of gets harder and the insides are nice and soft, so it is really fabulous. But anyway, y'all, I hope that you will give this chocolate cherry a dump cake a try because you're gonna love it. Um, anyway, it was a lot of fun to get back in my kitchen today. Just so missed that and miss making these cooking tutorials for you guys because you guys are so sweet and uh, you seem to really like them and you know how a lot of you say, where's the cooking videos? <laughs> so anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.